वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट पैटर्न पोएट्री एंड कॉन्क्रीट पोएट्री इन पैटर्न पोएट्री वर्ड्स एंड लाइन्स आर अरेंज इन अनयूजल वे ऑन द पेज एंड दे सजेस्ट द मूड एंड आइडिया ऑफ द वर्ड्स देर हैव बीन मेनी पोएट्स हु हैव एम्प्लॉयड patterns in their poems the earliest example of pattern poetry is a 17th century poem by george herbert which is known as easter wings the words are arranged in such a great manner that they give the readers clear idea about the content of the poem similarly dylan thomas has also published a volume of pattern poems called vision and prayer in modern times the term concrete poetry has been employed for pattern poetry many poets how used different typology font sizes images punctuation marks drawings graphic designs computer generated images in concrete poetry and these concrete poems can be found on pages as well as on any metal you may find concrete poems on wood or on any fabric so there is no rule about publishing a concrete poem on a specific object e cummings famous work tulips and chimneys ian hamilton finlay's rapper and edwin morgan's computers first christmas card are well known examples of concrete poetry apart from these poets isra pound and apollinaire they have also produced fine concrete poems all the details regarding pattern poetry and concrete poetry have been covered in this video the characteristics of pattern poetry and concrete poetry and the difference between these two types along with the famous examples of pattern poetry and concrete poetry have been produced here in this video i have already produced many videos on english poetry for example anglo norman poetry anglo saxon poetry georgian poetry and imagist movement medieval romances lake poets and cockney poets and many more you can watch all these videos if you visit my channel if you really like the videos produced by this channel do like and subscribe literature guide so that this channel will continue producing good videos for you in future also i don't want to waste your time let's dive into the video and enjoy the video pattern poetry and concrete poetry a term pattern poetry refers to a kind of experimental poetry which appeared on the literary scene in the 16th century The pattern poetry is also known as figure poetry or shaped verse. The origin of pattern poetry can be traced in the works of the Greek poets. The style and idea of writing pattern poetry seems to be derived from the Planudian version of the Greek anthology. It was the only known anthology of Greek epigrams and poems. The pattern poetry appeared on the literary scene in England in Puttenham's The Art of English Poesis in 1589. In pattern poetry a meaning is conveyed through an artistic use of shape and sense 
the lines are arranged in a peculiar style for representing a physical object. They also imply mood, feeling and theme of a poet and a work of art respectively. The pattern poets also employed geometric shapes such as wings, egg, and spear. The typography or lines are arranged in strange and unconventional way in order to imply the emotional content of the words employed in the pattern poetry. The metaphysical poet, George Herbert made use of a pattern of words in his poem Easter Wings. George Herbert's poem Easter Wings is a fine example of a pattern poem. Some of the members of pattern poetry are Dylan Thomas, Edward Estlin Cummings, Guillaume Apollinaire, Mayakovsky, and Stéphane Mulamé. Dylan Thomas made use of the images from human body in the Old Testament for his crafty word play in his poetry. He was a gifted poet, his collection of twelve pattern poems Vision and Prayer and Deaths and Entrances became popular in 1946. Edward Estlin Cummings employed irregularly spaced lines, non-traditional capitalization in order to put stress on a particular word or phrase. The typography of his poems implies mood and energy of his poems. He used colloquial language for attaining musical effect. Edward Estlin Cummings' first volume of poetry Tulips and Chimneys appeared in 1923. E. Cummings has made use of colloquial words and ingredients from burlesque and the circus in poetry. His love lyrics and erotic poems appeal both to the heart and head of the readers. The experimental typography and technical skill of the poems enticed the readers of every age and gained popularity. Stéphane Mallarmé made use of different type sizes in his work, Uncoup de Day, A Throw of Dice in 1897. Guillaume Apollinaire's calligrams can be deemed as the quintessence of pattern poetry in which the words are arranged in artistic fashion to form a pattern implying the main theme of the poems. His collection of poems calligrams appeared in 1916. It deals with the poet's experiences as a soldier. There is fine blending of images of war and love in calligrams and it set a fine example of typographical skill. The poems in Guillaume Apollinaire's collection Calligrams appear to the readers both as poems and images at once. Owing to this unusual and strange usage of verbal associations, Apollinaire's Calligrams appeals to the readers. Pattern poetry has been referred to as concrete poetry since 1950s. There is slight difference between pattern poetry and concrete poetry. Pattern poetry contains its sense and meaning apart from its typography. It makes sense even if it is read aloud. In concrete poetry, the meaning lies in its appearance of an image on the page and it does not rely on the use of words or their typography that forms them. Concrete poetry can be read aloud to any effect. The concrete poetry is a modern experimental form of poetry which was in vogue in the 1950s and 1960s. Its roots can be seen in the pattern poetry. The concrete poetry deals with the presentation of a text in the shape that implies the central idea of the poem. The concrete poetry may find its place on the page, on glass, stone, wood or on any fabric and material. In 1956, National Exhibition of Concrete Art was launched in Sao Paulo. It was stated in the Manifesto of Concrete Poetry that it begins by being aware of graphic space as structural agent. In modern age, concrete poetry has been practiced and popularized by Max Bill and Eugen Gormanger. They presented concrete poetry in Sao Paulo at an exhibition of concrete art. The concrete poetry does not adhere to a verbal concept of traditional poetry and it includes geometric figures and graphic designs into the poetic process. The concrete poets have made use of graphics, computer poems, numbers, punctuation marks, symbols, photographs, drawings, collage, and different type of fonts along with colors and sizes in order to get desired effect. The concrete poetry creates an impression of some object by arranging a text on a page in some specific form. It is associated with the sense and meaning of the poem. 
The letters and words of varied length are arranged in a special style which leaves an impression of some shape or object which represent the subject of the poem. The concrete poems cannot be read in the conventional way because they sometimes comprise a single phrase or letters in haphazard order. The letter or phrase when arranged in the proper order conveys the meaning. The fine example is E. Cummings' arrangement of letters in his poem The Grasshopper which implies the leaping insect grasshopper but only after arranging the letters. It requires deep thinking and keen observation on the part of the readers. At first, the readers get vague idea, then come to know about the idea. The scrambled series of letters does not give clear idea to the readers at first but the letters form a word which makes it clear after that. Ezra Pound has also produced some concrete poems. The concrete poetry has two minor forms, the kinetic and the phonetic form. The drawings and photos employed by a poet make sense on turning on the page. It is called as kinetic form. Some of the famous poets of concrete poetry are Ian Hamilton Finlay, Edwin Morgan, May Swenson, John Hollander, and Guillaume Apollinaire. The two Scottish poets of concrete poetry namely, Ian Hamilton Finlay and Edwin Morgan popularised concrete poetry in the UK. Ian Hamilton Finlay's collection of concrete poems Repel appeared in 1963. The arrangements of words and typography of his poems clearly indicate his affinity with 17th-century poet George Herbert. Most of his work appeared in his British periodical magazine of visual poetry called Poor, Old, Tired, Horse. The name of the magazine has been taken from Robert White Creeley's poem Please. Edwin Morgan, a Scottish poet, is one of the exponents of the concrete poetry. His poem Computer's First Christmas Card clearly reflects his interest in computer-generated poetry. The poem appeared in 1965. Edwin Morgan's poem The Loch Ness Monster's Song describes the problem of broken communication. It also deals with a shift from language to phonemes. Both Ian Hamilton Finlay and Edwin Morgan occupy a significant place in the international concrete poetry movement. According to Mary Ellen Sold, the concrete poetry seeks to relieve the poem of its centuries-old burden of ideas, symbolic reference, illusion and repetitious emotional content. How is the video? I hope you like the video. I have already told you that I have produced many fine videos on English drama, English prose and English poetry. If you really like the videos produced by this channel Literature Guide, do like and subscribe Literature Guide so that this channel can produce fine and useful videos for you in future also. You won't lose anything if you press the like button or subscribe this channel because this channel is producing useful content for you on this particular channel. So, there is nothing wrong in pressing the like button or subscribing this channel because I am trying to give useful information through this channel to the students of English literature and this channel will continue producing good videos, useful videos for you in future also. I hope you will definitely press the like button after watching this video and if you really like the videos on this channel do subscribe literature guide if you have any suggestion or views you can put your comments in the comment box below so that i can produce fine videos for you in future also i will meet you soon with a new video on english literature meet you Please subscribe Literature Guide.